All right, other news today. They hit homes and businesses for copper wire, and now thieves are targeting cell phone companies. Local authorities recently busted three men. They say stole thousands of dollars in copper wire from cell phone towers. New at 5, Jennifer Pierce explains how this could impact our cell phone service. Jen? Amanda, authorities say thieves, they're turning to cell phone towers because they're easy targets. And while it's not only dangerous, it could have impacted service to thousands of cell phone customers. They don't care, they're just predators. These are the three men arrested for allegedly stealing copper wire from several metro cell phone towers. Canadian County Sheriff's deputies found wires and drugs in the trunk of a suspect's car after a traffic stop. Deputies also found maps. Sheriff Randall Edwards says the men used Google to locate the towers. There's uh, approximately 15 uh, different map locations uh, of, of uh, cellular towers that had either been burglarized or uh, were, were assuming were, were to be burglarized. They did confirm the thieves hit two towers in Edmond, one belonging to U.S. Cellular. About 200 feet of copper was stolen from a tower U.S. Cellular customers were not affected. When copper wire is stolen from one of the cell towers, our network typically does not experience any service interruption. Uh, our, our network field engineers work quickly to get the copper wire replaced. The wire that was stolen is used to ground the tower in case of a lightning strike. This is the first theft from a cell tower the U.S. Cellular representative has heard of and a first for example. Sheriff Edwards. Uh, until we, we start putting heat on them and, and patrolling the, the cellular uh, towers, they'll, they'll uh, be hitting those because they're easy targets, just like the churches and schools are. They, they don't care how many people they inconvenience. And the sheriff asked the public to be their eyes and ears. If you see any suspicious activity around a cell phone tower, report it to authorities. Amanda. Jennifer Pierce for us. Thank you. And the three men are still in the Canadian County Jail on complaints of possessing and receiving stolen property.